Twins were a great shock. They're a handful. <laughs> Maternity leave was the hardest thing. We had some debt going into that. We had to buy two of everything. So we came off of maternity leave with even more debt. The most stressful thing is not knowing we have enough money to pay the bills. You spent over $2,000 on miscellaneous consumption. What are you thinking? What worries me most is that this massive debt is going to be hanging over our heads for the rest of our lives. I'm a human resources specialist. My name is Chad. I'm 35 years old. I'm a gas fitter. Our joint income is $120,000. We have beautiful twin girls who are 14 months old. I really didn't think the cost would be that much different than having two babies at different times, but it turns out that sure is because you have to buy two cribs, two high chairs, two times diapers, the formula, the wipes. We needed a double stroller, car seats, two of everything, really. It's quite an expense. Having twins is very busy. It gets chaotic. No, don't hit her in the head with the hanger. It gets loud, it gets noisy. <laughs> My husband might say otherwise, but I try not to buy them too much. She likes her baby clothes, so let's put it that way. I really like getting them the latest fashion trend that's out there in like teeny tiny size. <laughs> so cute, it's irresistible. <laughs> Mat leave was pretty surprising. Things really got tight. We had some debt going into that. We tried not to accumulate any more debt on maternity leave, but that didn't happen. So we came off of maternity leave with even more debt. I just went back to work a month ago, and we decided to hire a live-in nanny. The light at the end of the tunnel was when I was going to go back to work. But as it turned out, it's really the same as when we were on maternity leave. So we live very paycheck to paycheck. This week, the nanny's pay comes out on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have all the car payments and car insurance all coming out on the same day. That'll be a fun day. The most stressful thing about our uh, financial situation probably is not knowing if we have enough money to pay the bills. We have this line of credit that's hanging over our head and we just, we can't get it down. One thing knocks you down and you're right back at square one. We don't have an emergency fund. That's the line of credit. <laughs> she definitely carries most of the burden in regards to the finances. If I couldn't get the debt under control, I think it would impact our family. What worries me most is that this is going to be hanging over our heads for the rest of our lives. We just need Gail to help us figure things out. This month, I'll help these parents stay in the black while bringing up babies. I have been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt and how to balance it all with the priorities of parenting. and Chad weren't financially prepared for one baby, let alone two. Even with Courtney back to work, they're still playing catch-up. There's double jeopardy for this family's future if they don't get things under control. Hi. Hi. Gail Foss Oxley. I'm Courtney. Nice to meet you, Courtney. Hi, Gail. I'm Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi, babies. If you don't mind, the first thing I'd like to do is just drop my bag and have a quick look around. Come on in. What I'm looking at is not fancy. It's nice and comfy and cozy. Yep. Just the basics in the baby's rooms. This is probably the best part about having twin girls. OK, so you have two high chairs. You have two of everything, right? Yep. You've been very resourceful, though. You borrowed some. You got some gifted to you. Yeah, we've tried our best. Yeah. So you're both very sensible, and you're, you're very pragmatic in the way you speak. I try to be. I think so, yeah. yeah. So then why the mess? I think just the last three years have been a bit crazy. We got yep. married in Vegas. We bought this house. Did you have a plan for any of it? Not really. Did you ever told her she should take something back that she's bought? No. Ever chastised him for money he's spending? Only the money he spends on cigarettes. I was just about to say. <laughs> it's definitely a point of contention, yeah. And I know I have to quit. Hiring a nanny may seem like an extravagance, but it's actually less expensive than full-time daycare in a licensed center. Have you taken the step of having your taxes reduced at source? What do you mean, my income tax? Yes. You know you have a deduction in your childcare costs. Oh. You can write to the tax man. I want you to give me the okay to have my taxes reduced at source. You have more coming home on your paycheck. Oh. So what we have to deal with here is the fact that you have created an unsustainable life. 
and we need to put some balance back in so you're not quite so reactive, a little bit more proactive in terms of how you deal with things as a family. Let's start with your debt. No surprise there? No. But you borrowed some money recently, didn't you? Let's add that on. How much am I putting on? That would be $1,500. So now we're up to $64,500. This $35,000 that you owe on the line of credit, you're making payments now of about $300. Mm -hmm. But the rate you're paying it off, it'll take you 199 months. That's 16 years. You will pay $25,000 in interest. This is crazy. You see this credit card that doesn't have a balance on it? Yeah. It doesn't have a balance on it because you pay it off with the line of credit. You know, that's not actually paying it off, eh? Mm-hmm. And it has a balance now. It's 1200 Oh, so I have to add another $1,200. Yeah. Just as I have stood here, it has grown from $63,000 to $65,700. Let me show you what your shopping looked like for a single month. You shopped on the first and 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 the third 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 and the fourth and the sixth and the sixth and the seventh and the eighth and the eighth and the ninth and the ninth and the tenth and the tenth and the tenth and the tenth and the tenth. You don't even believe it. You're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, how could I have done that? This is one month's worth of your transactions right off your statements. You spent over $2,000 on miscellaneous consumption. My rule of thumb is to spend about 25% of your household income on expenses like food and entertainment and kid stuff. Courtney and Chad are spending way more than that. I want you to add up all these percentages for me, please. 156. What does that tell you? We're in That's trouble. That's not good. When it has it a guess at how much you're overspending by every month? A lot. $3,600 a month. Wow. And if you don't fix it, you'll be $700,000 in debt in five years. Yeah, I don't like this part. <laughs> Are you prepared to do whatever I say to stop the leaks? I promise. I promise. If you do all the challenges to my satisfaction, I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down this debt. And boy, you could really use the help. Mm -hmm. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money, I don't care what anybody says, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to get you on a debt repayment plan that will actually work. We are going to balance your budget. And we're going to get you planning for your family's future as opposed to just reacting to everything that pops up. You're going to learn to live on cash. I'm going to tell you how much. Next, coming up, a delicate balancing act. There's 50 bucks. We're running out of money. <laughs> this is a train wreck up here. Money, 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 money. <laughs> money, 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 <laughs> money. When Courtney and Chad decided to start a family, they weren't expecting twins. A uh, great shock. It's quite an expense. Are there two of these? Two times everything. It was costing us $300 a month alone in formula. Courtney's back at work, but her salary has to stretch even further to provide for three extra people, including their live-in nanny. Then we have gas and work clothes, so it almost even feels harder. Spending first and doing the math later has them in Big trouble. $700,000 in debt in five years? This is crazy. To build a solid future for their family, they'll need to play by my rules. For the next month, these parents will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars to pay down their debt. No changes, no money. Did you bring your credit cards and your debit cards? Mm -hmm. Hand them over. They're gone. You don't need these for the next few weeks because I'm cutting your variable spending by almost 60%. So instead of the $3,800 you have been spending, you'll have about $1,600. You'll have $200 a week for food, $100 a week for transportation. This is a clothing and gifts jar. Doesn't look like a lot. $10. <laughs> that jar is, uh, is a bit tough. Entertainment isn't much better. <laughs> 25 bucks. Other, $27.50. And your baby jars, $50 a week. Okay. Take diapers out of this, clothes out of this, toys out of this. And this is how you monitor what you're spending on the kids. Okay. Okay? We don't have a baby budget right now. I think it's smart, actually. If you don't have the cash to buy a toy, your kid doesn't get a toy. Mm -hmm. If you decide that you're never going to smoke again, so that your kid can have a toy, 
then that's a decision you make. Interestingly enough, you see this can? I'm not even gonna tell you not to smoke because that's your choice. But every time you have a cigarette, you have to put 50 cents in this can. That's your cigarette tax. From these jars? From the money you have. Oh God. That's all the money you have. We don't have very much jar money <laughs> to go around, so it's irritating me even more that he's spending money on cigarettes. This week's challenge involves making this a regular routine in your life. You have to make a budget that balances. Your housing costs are high, your life costs are high, and your debt costs are horrendous. But you're also gonna work out your own debt repayment plan. Okay. This is your opportunity to come to terms with how you make this budget balance. We're gonna to have to take a look and uh, tighten some things up, a lot of things up. The goal is to be debt-free in three years or less. This visual exercise will show them that to accomplish so that goal, they'll need to make more money. Everything over there is our joint income mm -hmm. for the month. The various baby-related items have dollar values to help them see their income as something tangible. Let's just do debt repayment last and we'll see what the gap is. Managing the money while managing the twins is tricky. So childcare is 14. But it's a skill this couple needs to learn. I thought we would just be sitting at a desk, very civilized during this challenge. I've provided them with a template for their budget, which includes must-haves, like savings okay. and a modest emergency fund. But everything else is up for discussion. Interests and hobbies. Do you think we need money there? <laughs> uh, no, not right now. To help improve their cash flow, Courtney's implemented a tax reduction on her paycheck. If I make that change, it will add another $250 a month to my checks. Oh, that's good. Yay! Diapers, clothes, education is $200. The mortgage is $1,860. We're running out of money. <laughs> Debt repayment is $1,200. We have to be aggressive with it. If I was to pick up an extra job every month. Exactly. I think we can pull this together with those, if we make those changes. Yeah. To make this budget work, you actually have to go out and make an extra $1,000 a month. The debt repayment was high. Um, we understand that we're trying to get out of debt uh, very accelerated, very short. Well, three years amount or less. Of time. Yes. Right. Yeah. Compared to what we're paying now? Compared to what we're paying it's now, a lot it's a lot more. Which is why you're not getting anywhere. It was pretty right. daunting. Well, I think we did okay. I think you did okay, too. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Are you finding it hard to be back at work and away from the girls? I am, yeah. Yeah. But you come to some sense of balance eventually. Yeah. You realize what you have to do versus what you want to do. Yeah, I yeah. hope it gets easier, but it's pretty hard so far. So you're ready for your next challenge? I think so. Okay, so it costs about $250,000 to raise the average child, and you got two of them. So that's $500,000, half a mil. And your next challenge is gonna be all about how to best spend that money. Coming up, looking at the big picture. Summer camp. Swimming lessons, ballet. Okay. New clothes and shoes. <laughs> it's not like we need everything. Money, 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 money. Parents of twins, Courtney and Chad, were facing an uncertain financial future. The rate you're paying it off, it'll take you 199 months. That's 16 years. But the twins were the perfect excuse to keep spending. We tried not to accumulate any more debt on maternity leave, but that didn't happen. And the cash flow issue comes from the fact that you just do what you want to do, and then you worry about the debt later. Their first challenge reinforced the need to get out of debt fast. This is where the real gap is. Yeah, it's debt repayment. To be debt free uh, when the girls are starting school, that'll be a, a huge load off of our mind, yeah. Increasing his income by taking on more work, Chad's coming up with most of the money to make that happen. I'll be home as fast as I can. But part of his income is still going up in smoke. I've cut my smoking down uh, quite considerably since uh, Gail's arrived. The cigarette tax is doing its job. With a working plan to be out of debt, I want Courtney and Chad to consider the future. They're facing a whopping bill of almost half a million bucks to provide everything for their twins from now until they turn 18. They're gonna go to summer camp. We're going to the zoo. New clothes and shoes. Courtney and Chad will each build a wish list of extras without considering the cost. It would be nice in five years for us to be able to take the girls to Disney World. That's a huge dream of mine. In high school prom, we're gonna need that. Movies, school trip. They'll make their choices separately and then reveal the value of each item. Gymnastics. So that's 420 a year per child. Music lessons. Ballet. 
This should be an eye-opening exercise, as they realize their impulse to provide the best of everything has a price. $96,604. $2,500. $1,600? No. <laughs> I lost it all. <laughs> Oops. $7,000. $89,184. It's interesting to see kind of totals until they're 18. Yeah, you always think of what's next week or next month or... Ne you never look over the whole 18 years, I don't think. I, th I think for the most part, we're on the same page. We're going to be OK. <laughs> It was fun, funnier. yeah. They had, they had fun in that room with all those blocks and stuff. Yeah. Okay, good. And then you add it all up. Scary number. Scary number. Yeah. So you have a list for me. Having gone through this exercise, what was the big aha? Uh -huh? I don't think there's any way we want our girls not being able to do something with right. their classmates or their friends mm -hmm. because of our shortcomings. And so it takes a plan. Right. I mean, Definitely. It's that simple, yeah. you know? These are numbers I don't, I don't think people think about until it's... Almost too late. You're right. So do you want to know what your next challenge is? Definitely. I'm sending you off geocaching. Oh, great. Hey. When you geocache, you're going to come upon emergencies. It will not be special, wonderful little presents. <laughs> it will be, oh my god, how do we deal with this now? Money, 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 money. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> Already deep in the hole before having twins, Courtney and Chad's unrestrained spending had their young family heading for disaster. If you don't fix it, you'll be $700,000 in debt in five years. Money is very scarce. We don't need this hanging over our heads any longer. For the past month, I've been showing them how to stop playing catch up and get a handle on the money. I think the jars are going great. I love them. Yeah, me too. Living on cash has helped them curb their spending and realize that there are choices to be made. If we could go without for three years to be out of debt for the rest of our lives, it would be very worth it. If they get the message of the final challenge, I'll reward them with up to $5,000. Without an emergency fund, Courtney and Chad are relying on credit to cover unexpected costs. I'm Chad. Hi, Chad. I'm Greg. Nice to meet you, Greg. It's good Hi, to I'm you. Courtney. This geocaching challenge will bring home the lesson about preparing for the future. We have an uh, emergency preparedness geocaching challenge. You're going to use a GPS and you're going to go and you're going to find various geocaches that we've hidden. We have one shared credit card, but it seems like as soon as we get it paid off, we have some kind of emergency we need to use it for. They've got 15 minutes to find a way to cover all the emergencies before running out of cash. Oh, is that it right there? I think we got one. Five-day family trip to amusement park is thwarted by incoming hurricane. Pay $8,000 for last-minute flights or pay $2,500 to stay an extra three days at hotel. We'll get to stay an extra couple days. Woohoo! We always find a way to pay the bills, but it would be nice to have a little wiggle room. Come on, let's go find this treasure. Okay, right here I'm at nine feet. Yeah, which way does the arrow point? If I was a geocache, where would I hide? Ah, send it. <gasps> Another treasure, yay! One of the twins requires hospitalization that is not covered by insurance. If something happens like the car, we're really in trouble. It would be nice not to have the money worries. 16 feet, 16 like feet? straight dead ahead. The most common emergencies parents face involve sick children at home. The twins get chicken pox one after another. Courtney has run out of sick days, vacation days, extra days. An emergency fund gives you the flexibility to take time off when you most need to. So it's right around here? Yeah, six feet. Your nanny flies home due to a family emergency. $100 a day for seven days. The money is dwindling. Oh, yeah, all, very, the, all the big bills quick. are gone. 36 feet, straight ahead. Right there. Congratulations, you've completed your challenge. I hope you've learned that importance of putting money aside for emergencies because <laughs> always happens. <laughs> The thing is, is that most people choose to be ostriches. And right. they stick their heads in the sand and they pretend, well, bad things don't happen to good people. Right. I'm telling you, bad things happen to good people all the time. Well, it was scary to uh, go over some of the scenarios that may happen and we're not prepared for them. You like to think that you have a plan going forward. It's actually in implementing that plan, getting it, getting it in action that you, you might need a little push with. And, and I think that's uh, definitely happened. How was the smoking? Uh, it's been going pretty good, actually, over the, the last month. Okay, let's uh, see what's in here, okay? There's a crap load of money in here. There's a lot of money in there, yeah. Three, four, hundred and twenty-four dollars A month ago, that would have been four or five hundred dollars. How much are you down to a day now? Uh, about six to eight. 
Excellent. Mm -hmm. You've done very well. You're working together now. You now have all the tools you need. No matter what comes along, you now know how to change the budget and make a debt repayment plan right. and adapt. Yeah, we definitely have a different budget now. And we have a plan to get out of debt way faster than we would have otherwise. You didn't have a plan? Not really. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, cross my fingers and hope something good happens. <laughs> yeah. Best news of all, you're getting a lack of money from me. <laughs> what Chad's eyes light up. <laughs> Look. Yay. Wow. If you take this $5,000 and put it against your debt, mm -hmm. you can then take about $200 from your regular payments towards your debt and add it to your educational savings plans mm -hmm. for your daughters. Okay. That means by the time they're ready to go to school, they'll have over $130,000 saved. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So the other thing I have for you is, because you don't have any money in your plan for a lot of fun stuff. It's swimming for the kids. Oh, oh that's great. I feel a lot more confident now than I did a month ago. Being in a better financial situation is great for the girls' future. And hopefully this budget will help us, you know, get on family trips and just be able to do the things that we want to do with them. Two months later, Chad's been able to sustain the increase in his income. So they're on track to being debt-free in a few years and they've opened an account to start saving for a dream trip to a family theme park.